Hello guys, it's Lag out here with the UCA Week 3 battle against Blind Messiah. So, first off, I want to address that um, that that this was supposed to be a live commentary. I did the live commentary, but the audio kind of went off sync completely. So I just decided that it's much easier for me to do uh, the post commentary than to start try to match the audio with the video because that that's going to become messy and I'm not sleeping it. <laughs> I'm not sleeping this night if I do that. So here we are. I will show you guys one part of the battle um, with the uh, original um, reaction because that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. So. This is completely wrong-sided as well. We have to switch sides. Go! <laughs> so, they did bring both electric types, which surprised me. No pecs to be seen. Probably because of the extra, to be honest. And... Then the hoop actually came, which is surprising here. And it actually comes straight up in on our chest note lead. Um, because I said that I would leave my, with my chest not if I would not see Delmice and I don't see Delmice. We go straight up into the into the hoop uh, Tita because she, Tita can taste the shadow on psychic type moves. Yeah, and we do leave one focus blast as well. And they go into sub, which is kind of scary. Of course, my half of my face is white. Don't worry about that. We go into Mega Tita here, crunch, and they are focusing. And they hit me with the focus punch. So that's that. Kill the clip. Bam. It has a chance to miss. Does it kill my teeth? Is the question. It doesn't. I might just crunch. Let's see. Focus. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Focus punch. Up. Rip. God damn it. You are back, so let's continue. I didn't um, see that coming, to be honest. Um, Messiah always, always brings these cool sets against me, and I, I can't, I can't deal with them <laughs> at all. <laughs> and we go into so um, Excrel and Shorts dance up, and they, they do the great play with the, the Wicca Vault and go straight into it on our C ground here. Oh my lord, I'm so white. Son, don't. And uh, our Titanic Rage completely misses the Vigal, sadly. Uh, the crew comes in again, and we are neutral on our rock slide. Now they pretty much know our whole set, which is sad. Uh, we go back into the chase now because a crew usually can't touch this thing, and we are free to use our lead seed um, on any mod they want to switch in. So, they go into their Latios, we uh, hit them with the lead seed, that's very cool. Um, now we need to see what we straight are going to be swapping into this, because we don't have Mega Theta, we go into our Excadrill. Excadrill should be faster than this Hoopa, and we just hit them with the Iron Head, this Krook get some damage on it, and it has left OS though, so they are recovering it slowly. We go back into our... Not actually, we go into our, um, what shall I call it, fortress here, and we decide to go for the rocks, I believe, here, to somehow mitigate. Yeah, we go for the rocks, because they are swapping a lot, uh, this helps us a lot in the long run. And we just stay in, oh, I was actually calking a fire punch here, because I thought they would be physical, because they had focus punch for the Mega Theta. The, the in the end they were special with the shadow ball and probably psychic and yeah that messed me up fire punch we would have lived even it was four when it was four x uh, but shadow ball just hurt us too much on the special side we go into our exit here because we outspeed this and they are trying to pull a stunt on us and focus up no 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 we just iron head I, i'm taking that thing down so we are at the 4-5 situation here, they come on us with the crook. We are straight up going to the 
Uh, it's just not here, but it's just not is free on this group because they don't seem to have toxic and, or something that uh, wax us. And they go into their floors while we go for the lead seed, I believe. Yes. Um, and now we have two good switchings against this thing in Tentacruel or the Excadrill. We go into Excadrill because Excadrill has seemed to be doing a lot of lot of things against them. <laughs> and we get pretty much free Iron Head off. They go into the crook again, but they are going to be taking 24% here. 25% actually. Uh, a bit higher roll than the last time. And then we go back into our chest note. Are they going to predict? No. It's going to be this this kind of thing um, for a whole match. So we are actually... Do I again throw out the lead seed? Yes, we just go up with the lead seed. This situation has happened a lot of times now. And Vigavolt is coming in with... And we go into our extra probably taking bug bus. And they actually double out on the Megalatios here. And this is going to get crazy here. We have to stay in because we can't let this thing uh, call mine on us. As mother idea was probably going in the Mew. But what, whatever. And they recover up. We get 54%. We are here in the HP lead. And now we go into our Mew because I know that they are going to the HP fire. And they did indeed. And they probably switch out here because they think we have something for them. Uh, hindsight, I should have had Ice Beam over Aurosphere, that, now that I think about it. Uh, we get the first hacks of the game, which is cool. <laughs> we get the special defense drop on our Psychic, and Psychic is now on the kill range because of that. So they are indeed going to Volt Switch on us and go into some other mana, such as um, this thing. And we go for the Aurosphere because I was thinking that they would go into the crook, uh, taking the psychic. And we psychic up the one when they go into floaters. We get the uh, some damage off. And we go into the extra because extra is forcing a uh, switch here on the crook. Uh, hindsight, I should have doubled here for sure into the chest note or something. I was just thinking that if they have pro protect and stuff like that. And we earthquake uh, deal a lot of damage to the crook. And here we are, now Mons ac can actually kill this uh, Krook, which is uh, great. <laughs> we go into our Tentacruel, because our Tentacruel is actually outspeeding this. And we get the kill on Skald. And here comes uh, like the end game of the this uh, battle. <laughs> we They go into the Latios and recover up when we go for the Sludge Bomb. Um, I was kinda hoping that they would try to kill us with the Psychic, because we are living that. 100% of the time. We go for Acid Spray. They are now minus two special defense. We can go into our Mew, and Mew can actually kill them with the Psychic now. If I had Ice Cream, this would be a great situation. Psychic does 26%. Uh, they switch into their Vika Volt, and here I soft boil up, because I kind of knew that they would be switching here. We Psychic the Vika Volt. So here is a probably the thing where I drew. Because Mew had possibility to kill Mons such as Raikou, uh, such as Flauces, uh, such as Latios. But I was actually preserving Tentacruel because I thought that Tentacruel would be better in the long run. Because of the Flauces, but I shouldn't be too scared to sack off my Tentacruel and try to stall the Flauces out with my Mew. So I was too like over protective on Tentacruel, so that kind of threw me them through the match away because until this point both of us could have won but now we are going to be outsped by Latios um, every single turn and it, it just wins alone. We still go into our tender school to tie up the <coughs> um, differential they can't really switch anything in because Slash Bomb is killing anything that comes in um, and sadly now Latios just comes and outspeeds every single amount of mine and kills us with the psychic. Really good game to the Blind Messiah. Um, definitely a uh, good set on the Hoopa who focus punching me my Tita away, which was really important this matchup. Um, but that happens. They brought the better sets, and I definitely should have sacked Ender Cruel there, and then. Um, go, because I knew pretty much they would be going with the uh, 
bug bus, then I would get one attack off on the Vigavolt, and then my Mew could have killed it. And Mew could have definitely lived against mods such as Latios and Raikou and stuff like that. It pretty much depends on Raikou sets. If they were Coil Mind, I might have had some trouble with that, but shouldn't have been uh, too much trouble. But. Thank you for watching. Um, we are now 2-1 and Blind Messiah is going strong at 3-0. Uh, we are hoping to get our revenge on them in playoffs. Whew. But yeah, thank you for watching. We will see you guys next time. See ya.